So this is how you can draw symmetrically in Adobe Animate. As you can see, I've got my little cat kid here. He's already been sketched symmetrically in Clip Studio, and I imported this image in, and I locked the layer and made a new layer on top of it. From here, I'm going to just draw part of his ear, select it with the lasso tool, and don't copy paste this. You're gonna go up here to modify and convert to symbol. Um, I just leave the presets, boom, come over here to library, and from here you've made it into a symbol, and when you pull it out from the library, that becomes an instance of the symbol. Um, they're kind of like related siblings rather than copy pastes. I'm hitting control T here and flipping it horizontally, matching it up with the auto guides and making sure it's exactly where I want it to be. And as you'll see here, it's not symmetrical yet. You can still draw things on top of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click one of the instances. You'll see the other instance fade out um, to show that you're specifically working on one. It doesn't matter which one you pick, but now you see that they are symmetrical doing the same things. Now from here, I'm just gonna draw the rest of my cat kid's face. And now we've got a working line out. Both sides are symmetrical and looking pretty good as to what I wanted. Now from here, you're gonna find that they're just two instances. You can move this away. They're not gonna be able to do much. So I select them both, come over here to the object properties and hit this button here. This is called break apart and will turn everything into simple lines. And from here, well, I can do the asymmetrical things like his goofy little hair here. Boom, fill it with whatever you want. And that's how you can draw symmetrically in Adobe Animate.